love of Allah and love of the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and love of those whom Allah loves should be the primary motivational factor that is pushing us forward in our worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the believers in the Quran and Allah describes the highest of the high. Allah describes the elite by saying what? مَنْ يَرْتَدَّ مِنْكُمْ عَنْ دِينِهِ فَسَوْفَ يَأْتِ اللَّهُ بِقَوْمٍ يُحِبُّهُمْ وَيُحِبُّونَهُ Whoever wants to turn away from the religion, Allah doesn't care. Allah will bring a new generation. They shall love Allah and Allah shall love them. And Allah says with regards to the believers, وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَشَدُّ حُبَّ لِلَّهِ Those who have iman, their love for Allah is more than the love of the pagans for their false gods. There is no comparison. The believers love Allah with more love than any other false religion. And that is why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would regularly make dua to Allah. Allahumma inni as'aluka hubbak. O oh Allah, I ask for your love. وَحُبَّ مَنْ يُحِبُّكَ And the love of those who love you. وَحُبَّ عَمَلٍ يُقَرِّبُنَا إِلَى حُبِّكَ And the love of good deeds that allows me to come close to your love. Therefore, a sign of Iman is you enjoy worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You love the good deeds that bring you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Junaid, the famous ascetic, was asked, what is the love of Allah? He said, the love of Allah is you forget about yourself and you only are obsessed with pleasing Him. Your own ego, your own nafs becomes nothing and you're only obsessed with pleasing Him. Such that, he said, when you move, you move for the sake of Allah. When you stop, you are with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you speak, you speak on behalf of Allah. And when you're silent, you're still thinking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In other words, you're always constantly in the notion of wanting to have that mahabba with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, how does one attain this mahabba? Number one, explicitly mentioned in the hadith that the Prophet said that Allah says, My servant continues to draw close to me with the obligatory deeds. And then after the obligatory, he's going to continue to draw close to me with the nawafil until I shall love him. Explicit. You want Allah to love you? The fara'id and the nawafil. Every single nafil, every single chapter of ibadah, the salah, the dhikr, the Quran, the sadaqah, the siyam, you keep on doing the nafil, I shall love him. And when I love him, what happens to the awliya of Allah? I become the eyes with which he sees, and I become the ears with which he hears, and I become the hand with which he reaches out, and I become the feet with which he walks with. Meaning, his entire life becomes the worship of Allah. So, number one mechanism of attaining Allah's mahabba, the fara'id, and then the nawafil. Number two mechanism of attaining mahabba. قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَتَبِعُونِي يُحْبِبْكُمُ الله. You want to love Allah? Follow me. Allah will love you. So the second mechanism of attaining Allah's mahabba to study the sunnah, to study the seerah, and to then follow and implement the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The third mechanism of attaining Allah's mahabba is the frequent recitation of the Quran and the constant dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is no mahabba of Allah without constant dhikr. Dhikr is the backbone. Dhikr is one of the main mechanisms of attaining the mahabba of Allah and the Quran is the ultimate dhikr. The fourth mechanism of attaining Allah's mahabba is to study the names and attributes of Allah. Because when you don't know who is Allah, how will you love Allah? Having a relationship with these names and attributes, using the names and attributes in your du'as, Ghafoor, Ghaffar, Rahman, Rahim, Tawwab, Malik, Quddus, know these names, understand these names, and your love of Allah will increase. The fifth way of increasing your mahabba of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to spend quality time with Allah. How can you spend quality time with Allah? Ibn al-Qayyim says, one of the strongest ways of showing your love to Allah is by secluding yourself and having private conversations with Him when He has told you to have those conversations, meaning to hajjud and qiyamul layl. To cut yourself off from society in the middle of the night and you open up your heart to Allah and you pray to hajjud and you read Quran. This is one of the ways you're going to increase your muhabbah. Number six, very explicit in the hadith as well. To love those whom Allah loves and to want to be with those whom Allah loves. So a sign of loving Allah is to love the salihin and awliya of Allah. Who do you enjoy their company? Who do you really want to be with? That's a sign of your own heart. If you like to be with people of no iman, people who are backbiting, people who are gambling, what does that show about you? Whereas if you love to be with the righteous, even if you're not righteous, but you love to be with them, what does that 
show. And that's why our Prophet said to Anas ibn Malik, you shall be with the one whom you love. So of the ways to achieve Allah's mahabba is to love those whom Allah loves. And that is the awliya and the salihin. That is the righteous people, the people of khair and ilm, the people of taqwa. Love them, be in their company. And the final point we'll mention inshaAllah, study those verses in the Quran in which Allah tells you the characteristics of those whom he loves. Wallahu yuhibbu al-muttaqeen. Wallahu yuhibbu al-muhsineen. Wallahu yuhibbu al-sabireen. Wallahu yuhibbu al-tawabeen. Wallahu yuhibbu al-tadahireen. Read those verses that Allah is saying, I love these people. And the verses where Allah says, I don't love these people. Wallahu la yuhibbu al-fasad. Allah doesn't love the zalim. Read these verses and then implement them in your life. Allah has told you a list of people he loves. Read that list. Read the Quran. Memorize that list. Implement it in your life. And Allah has told you a list of people he does not love. Make sure that is not a part of your life. Allahumma inni as'aluka hubbak wa hubba man yuhibbuk wa hubba amanin yuqarribuna ila hubbik. Oh Allah, I ask your love and the love of those whom you love and the love of deeds that brings me to your love.